In Thailand's town of Lop Buri, we lay our scene. This once great kingdom has been laid to ruin. Now, great hordes of macaques rule this monkey fiefdom. Like preceding empires, we have our intrigues and dramas, palace scandals, secret trysts, coup d'etat, and a bloody rivalry that has raged for more than three centuries. As a protector of the temple troop, I have witnessed many a bloody battle. But last summer, that was all to change when two star-crossed lovers dared to go against troop tradition and follow their hearts. The world's greatest love story was to become a monkey's tale. Let me tell you how the saga unfolded. Lopburi is ruled by monkeys. There are 4,000 of us, and we run things in this town. But we're not all one big happy family. We are divided into two rival groups, and we are bitter enemies. First, there's my family, the Temple Troop. Occupying plum position in town, we are the keepers of the palace ruins. You could say we are the kings of the castle. There are many handsome monkeys in the Temple Troop, but the fairest of all the females is my cousin, Juliet. With her soft brown eyes and pale cap of hair, she is a pretty piece of flesh. As her cousin, it was my job to keep an eye on her. They call me Tybalt, defender of the temple troop. Juliet had always been a loyal member of the troop, but that summer, she would give up her comfortable life of privilege and do something that shocked us all. Life for the Temple Troop has always been easy. Some think we are spoiled and lazy, but that's the life we've been born into. Better luck to us. But on the other side of the road live the Market Monkeys, a ragtag bunch of scoundrels that live in the ghettos of the town our most hated rivals. Like hooligans with their heckling ways. They did bite their thumb at us. They are some of the meanest monkeys around. The old and the maimed. And the rejected scratching out a living. The humans are forced to live behind cages to keep the market monkeys out. What a change that makes for us animals. Life's tough for those living amongst the squalor of the slums. They scavenge for whatever they can find. And as such, they've become street smart. Leading the charge for the market monkeys was a cavalier monkey called Romeo. With his Mohican hair, he attracted a following of mischief makers. Like many of the market monkeys, Romeo worked as a pickpocket and thief. It 
was he who started all the trouble way back last summer. Not that I was shy of a fight. Peace. I hate the word. The only thing that kept life on the even keel was the road separating the market monkeys from the temple troop. No one dared cross that road. When the sun went down that day so long ago now, things would change forever. It was the time of Thailand's Festival of Lights. During this night, sweethearts seal their love by releasing lanterns together. I guess it was a romantic night under the full moon, earth treading stars that make dark heaven light. The river carried along love's light, and lanterns filled the sky with high hopes. That night, love's light found its way to us. For that was the night when, from across the road, Romeo first saw my cousin, Juliet. It was love at first sight. Many had come to court Juliet, but none had won her heart as is the way of pernickety females. But that night, there was some sort of enchantment in the air. When Juliet made her way down to the temple's boundary fence, Romeo decided to make his approach and cross the road. In so doing, he was breaking all the rules. Romeo infiltrated the temple with Knight's cloak to hide him. He was determined to make Juliet his. It was a shy approach. When they connected, the sparks flew. They were overcome by that tender thing called love. But there would be trouble ahead. For well, Romeo and Juliet's love was forbidden, and for long a love that could not be hidden. <laughs> 